Hello Droners, Dave here from Paladin Automation, coming at you today with our third video on the Modal AI Voxel Flight Core. Part one was unboxing, part two, loading firmware, today part three, installing components. Let's get started. As you can see, I went ahead and installed the board onto the top of my drone frame. You can see we already have the USB dongle that we spoke about last video and the power module. The components we'll be installing today are the Compass GPS module, my Spectrum radio using the cord that came with my cord kit, the PWM breakout board along with the cord that came with my kit, the XB radio that I received from my colleague, I'll talk more about this in a minute. And finally, I had the goal to put a servo claw on here, so this is what I have. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go on the drone yet. I still have a little bit of work to do there. You may recall from our first video that I received this drone from a friend of mine. Uh, no longer worked. It was at least 10 or 15 years old. Uh, and I was giving it new life with the Modal AI Flight Core. Along with the kit that my friend gave me were these XB radios, the XB-S1. As far as I could tell, they are about 15 years old. Uh, they came as a pair. Uh, each of them came with their own uh, breakout board from SparkFun uh, that I had to figure out how to adapt to the modal flight board. Uh, so this is the GCS side. Uh, it comes with a standard USB that uh, through an adapter, uh, you can convert it to a micro or USB-C for use at your control station. The airborne, uh, radio uh, comes with a breakout board that has some pad eyes on it for soldering. Uh, so I took a telemetry cable from an old drone kit of mine and it took me a little bit of trial and error uh, but after a few attempts and the help of a online wiki I found for the Pixhawk uh, there's some rewiring that I was able to do so that it actually is compatible with the Modal AI flight core. First off, we'll be powering up the board with the XB radio. I have it plugged into the J5 port. Manual flight mode. Green lights on the radios, and you can see that Q ground control connected. Check complete. Powering down the board now for the next component. Communication lost. Communication regained. Next, I'm going to check my ESCs and the motors. I'm plugged in by USB, my props are removed, and I have the ESCs plugged into the power board. Plugging in the battery now. So I think that Manual means that flight at least mode. one of my ESCs is receiving power, so we're off to a good start. 
Going to my power menu, I have a 3S battery, leaving the default settings for now and going to calibrate. Cal calibration failed. Disconnect battery and try again. I'm going to disconnect my battery and try again. Communication lost. Reconnecting battery. You can hear the ESCs powering up. And I got a few new beeps. So I guess it's complete. Now let's test out the motors. Once again, my propellers are removed. Trying motor one. Okay, it is spinning. Motor two. Spinning. Three. Good. Okay, now, channel five is the gripper. I don't have that test on here. So I guess we are complete. I am back at my vehicle setup menu. I went through and set all the flight modes to position mode. That's what I'll be using for my initial flights. The only remaining red circle is sensors. I'll be calibrating all the sensors after I fully assemble the frame prior to my first flight. That'll be my next video. So until we meet again, fly safe, fly hard, and have fun. Take care.